What is up, guys? Welcome to a brand new series of the Runaway Teen Challenge. If you guys have never seen this series before, how it works is we have a teen who runs away from their home. This is Alan, our teen who will be running away. He's running away from his parents. They've been very overprotective of him. He wants to get out. One of the things that he did was he completed all these positive traits because his parents were so over him. Uh, all over him. He could never get away from it. He got scouting aptitude, creatively gifted, socially gifted, immensely gifted, physically gifted, happy toddler, and steel bladder, which you think, hey, that's awesome. But Alan is over it. He just aged up into a teenager and we are going to move him out of this house into a completely empty lot with no money or nearly no money. And uh, he's just going to try and live off the surroundings. That's collecting things, fishing, selling things, uh, gardening, those types of things. And all that being said, I am so excited to be here and trying this challenge with you guys. I originally found out about this challenge a long time ago with um, with the English Simmer. Molly, she is so cool. I think I watched her series in like, whew, I don't know, man, five years ago. And it was just one of my all time favorite challenges. And still to this day, it's my favorite challenge. Before when I used to stream on Twitch, I used to every day I did a uh, Every time I did like a 12 hour stream, I used to do these long runaway teen challenges just to start up the start up the episode, start up the day. Cause I could play it for eight, nine hours straight and just love every minute of it. And I wanted to do that again because I just missed the series. What I was thinking about when doing this, I was said, hey, if I was to run away as as a teen, I where am I gonna run now? I have a job. <laughs> but if I was a teen again, where would I run away? And I think I tried to get away as far away from my parents as possible, if this was my case, you know? So they live on the rich end of Oasis Springs, the richy neighborhood in Oasis Springs. What I'd like to do is either, I was thinking like Hawaii, the Saluna, Solana, but eh, it's, it's kind of far. I, I don't, I'm not sure how he'd get there. But on the other hand, you know, you carpool out, you, have, you catch a bunch of rides to Vegas, not to Hollywood, you know? where everyone goes when they're, where everyone wants to go when they're kids. And I think that's everyone's kind of little dream. I also have never really messed too much around with Del Sol Valley in the uh, in the sense of knowing where collectibles are and stuff. If you threw me on Willow Creek, Oasis Springs, uh, Windenburg, any of these, I could easily survive extremely easily because I know where every collectible is, gardening items. Uh, one of these actually, this one has easels, I believe. This one has posters and you can survive in the... Uh, in the bars and stuff, but Del Sol Valley is new to me and there's actually a lot that's already kind of destroyed it and has some stuff on it. So I'll just assume he stole this money from his parents and uh, he's good to go. So let's grab him. Let's move him into this lot. It's just over. No, unfurnished. They just some trash there, some fencing, some trees, and uh, he'll have a little bit of money. We could delete the money, but I don't think 200 bucks will take us that far. Let's just assume he stole it from his parents who are really rich. He, uh, his dad was a master gardener. So that's going to be one of the things we'll be focusing on is trying to do gardening in this series to try and get that up. But uh, we'll see how it goes, man. So here he is, just moved out, living on his own, all alone in the wilderness. The wilderness of Del Sol Valley. I don't even know if there are, there must be collectibles. I'm assuming, maybe that's a bad assumption. I just figured every lot has collectibles. Oh good, there's a park right here. All right, so th this is a place to nap. Uh, we have grills to cook and also means that the general public will cook as well. We have trash cans we can rummage through, good. Uh, what else is around here, anything? I'm assuming all the collectible spawns are in here as well, along with, um, I'd like to say there's a plant, plant. Nice. We have a plant in here. Some some stuff to rummage through. Obviously the little little snacks there. Benches. There'll be kids to socialize with. You're not supposed to socialize with adults. I I'm a hit or miss on that. If I if I actually want to follow that rule, he, there's no point in doing homework because he's not going to be uh, going to school. Definitely not. A couple bushes over here, but nothing to write home about. Wow, this is actually be a tough challenge. I think our first goal. We'll be trying to figure out a way to create money. I think what we can do is sell some of the stuff he took with him. So a lot of the stuff he brought with him was just stuff from his childhood, you know? He took it out of his house. He brought it with him. He threw it in a backpack. He brought his trophies and stuff. 
a school project, which actually sells for a pretty penny. He made some art as a kid. We'll sell that real quick. Uh, we have this toy he stole from his house. A booster pack. He's got to sell everything, man. Uh, scouting manual. This is a frog. I want to breed frogs. Breeding frogs can actually be extremely lucrative. If you breed them every like six, every six hours or so, you can actually make a little money off of it. it has a fish on him. Okay, so I think first things first is figuring out how to make money. We have some trees that haven't grown yet. So whenever you move into a new lot, it takes a little bit of time for collectibles and stuff to grow in general. Nice little, nice little dig spot right there. So that could be 50 simoleons, of a little bit of money there. Another dig spot, good start. So now we know where a few dig spots are, spots, along with some collectibles which are now spawning. I actually think Del Sol may be a good spot to try this series because there's not a lot of area for stuff to spawn in. The entire, like if you look, most of this is not usable. Like we have this one lot, this lot, and this lot, which makes the entire space pretty open. If you look at something like Oasis Springs or that park in Oasis Springs, that map is actually ginormous. Um, there's so much space to run around and do things in. And unlike that, this area is very tight because of the amount of like stuff the Sims put in to make it seem more lively. Like there's a freaking plane out there. Why is there a plane? Um, so they may put a lot of stuff in here to make it seem more lively, but it also increased load times. So what they ended up doing was reducing a lot of the space that's walkable and livable in. So you think, hey, that's a negative, but actually in this case, is a positive. What's going on? Throw a tantrum. Good good idea. He's sweating? Ah, oh, jeez. I don't even know what his... I didn't even think of what his outdoor outfit is. I don't know if this one's it or this one's it. Is this one it? I'm assuming this one's it. What's even look like shirtless? I don't, I don't know if we want to see that. No, 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 he's a good looking dude, actually. He's got a little belly. A little bell. Not, nothing wrong with a little bit of bell. I got a little bit of bell, you know? Let's go dig up that as well. And now we got a, uh, we can't talk. You're not supposed to talk to adults. I don't usually listen to that challenge. If you guys want to look up the rules, there are rules to these challenges that I play. And I've already done the Runaway Teen series uh, on this channel, but it was my first series ever. I think the microphone quality left a lot to be desired along with just the overall quality of the episodes. I I was so new to recording. It was my first series. I was so excited. And actually, I'm down to talk to her because i think she's cool she's like a hip hip neighbor you know i feel like she wouldn't rat you out she probably ran away from her family too trying to chase her music career if i recall correctly she's she's trying to pursue music vanessa here and uh she came out to vegas she lives on her own she's a young adult so let's just be polite to her but obviously we can't woohoo or anything because she is an adult i'm a teen can't do that Believe it or not, that is not allowed in the uh, in the Sim series here. Are these trash cans? Oh, you can search these trash cans. No trash yet, but we can at least search those once they uh, once they start spawning goodies. We can't go up there. We're still looking for more plants here, but nothing's really spawning in this area. Maybe we'll go live in a park for the beginning until we get enough material to. We have six hundred bucks. What can we buy for six hundred bucks? We could go somewhere and start crafting. What I'm thinking of is going out and crafting uh, a few planters. And from a planter, you can buy stuff. But where is a... Where's my mailbox? Maybe we could... Whoa, hold up. Whatever you're about to do, can you leave the... After school? Yeah, quick job. I could get him a part-time job. I'm actually down to get him a part-time job. It's a little questionable, but... I think getting him a part-time job is not bad. But let's, let's see what the part-time jobs look like. It would be actually a new system I haven't used before. Babysitter, barista. Fast food employee. Lifeguard. $40, jeez. Manual labor. Landscaper. Oh, it's only on the weekends. Huh. Retail employee. I worked in retail. Jeez. Going back to $40 an hour in retail. 
Drama club unpaid. No, no, you don't need to do that, man. We'll figure it out. Let's go somewhere and see if we can find ourselves a way to get a planter. You can't travel because people... Okay, everyone go home. And whenever you travel, you're supposed to throw away 10 bucks. So I'll delete $10. Let's go... Hmm. I know the Evergreen Harbor has lots where there's crafting material. And I think this lot has a workbench. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. I'm down to travel. So we just bought a bus ticket. I'll spend 50 because I left my world. And we'll see if we can get that back. I'm pretty sure this lot has a uh, has an item here. It does! Okay, we're going to have to craft a bunch of crap before we can craft what I want to craft, but that's okay. And from our childhood, obviously, we have all these positive traits. So our skills are going to go up so quick. And it's going to be unbelievably beneficial. Because I, I have to be honest, I don't usually have any skills whenever going into one of these series. It's, it's, it's pretty much me going in blind the majority of the time. But if we actually spend time here, we can get our gardening skill up too. They have a bunch of gardening stuff. This could be a really good lot to start off in. I didn't even think of that. The eco lots are actually so good. They have a uh, they have a lot of stuff you can use. That you can build up your gar gardening skill. You can make some money through the crafting bench. Um, you can make money through the gardening as well. Uh, gardening is also food. The issue with food from the from the gardening though these days is that now they really make you use a bathroom. It's very odd how the system works because now if you do any food, wait, why is this here? And why is it like that? Can I actually cook on it? I can cook. No, I can't cook. Okay, that's that's another lie. Okay, I need to eat. Do I have food on me? I don't. Is there food here? Is there a grill? It doesn't look like there's a grill here. I don't have water. I can't drink water though. I don't think. Food. An easel. Now that's intriguing. Hold up, we can make a pretty penny through that real quick. Get ourselves enough money to cook up a meal. He's gonna be very uncomfortable in a minute, but like until then, we can pretend that he's not and make him get there. He's creatively gifted. This should probably come out good. Mind you, he did spend $100 on this easel, so cross my fingers we make more than $100. I'm hoping. I'd also like to get him a tent ASAP, so we'll cross our fingers we can get him in a tent pretty early on. Julia. Hey, honey, it's mom. When are you going to come visit? I put all my love and effort into raising you. The least you can do is drop on by. Why don't you come over right now? Uh, I can't, but it was nice talking to you. Sorry, mom. I know. I gotta, I gotta be honest. Can't do it. Crap. We made no money through it. We lost money. Road to fame, great. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, BB dot. Uh, testing cheats on, or er, testing testing cheats on, enabled. Uh, money. Uh, all right. Spent fifty dollars on a bus ticket. Good, good, good. Crap, man. What are we gonna do? I, there's no food here. Are these plants ready to be harvested? Plants are weird, man. Oh, go water some things. We can get a little bit of water. Wait, was that your dad? I think his dad's here. Water 10 plants. Let me water some plants. And then, uh... You can purchase seeds from this. Oh, sick. Hold up. We can just purchase a bunch of seeds real quick. I don't know which ones give you the best, like, range of months. Alright. We gotta get out of here. I gotta figure out what the heck we're gonna do for food. Oh yeah, that is your dad. Is your dad following you? Dad might be following you. Alright, let's, let's go back home. I think that should be enough for a tent. I think. I didn't realize there was apartments here. Very interesting. Ooh, they're cheap. I didn't realize there was apartments. Huh. 
see i i don't spend enough time in these new worlds i have to be honest it's it's a bad habit i i keep getting these new worlds and i play on them for a little while but i usually stick to like these very weird lots and then there's like apartments on it which are really cool um i think we have enough money to uh to go home and cook on one of those grills there are grills there and then we can try and get a tent uh, the tent was used with outdoor living, I believe, and the tent is actually very good because you can sleep in a tent. It's If you don't have a bed, for example, a tent is a good uh, in-between there. What is kind of fun about this lot, and, and most lots in this game, is if there is a grill, people will generally cook on it for free. So you get free food. Unfortunately, because we just loaded in this lot, no one's present at these areas, so we can't cook right now. But we're going to buy a tent after we finish eating here. Eat. Good, 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 good. Yeah, we're snacking. Good. And kind of a cheat to this series. We have freaking steel bladder, which is so good. Because I can't tell you how many times I've had the issue where we aren't near something. So we can't like use a bathroom and stuff. Uh, I should be able to sell stuff in my inventory. I think we collected some stuff while... Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. So this is the items we found on the... Um, in the ground over there when digging. If you uh, if you ever do Sims 3... Uh, Sims 3, if you get a dog and you have the dog dig, he'll come back with, like, freaking car-sized... Uh... Can you live in that? What the heck? Can you live in that? He'll come back with like car-sized, uh, <laughs> uh, car-sized like rocks, meteors, and then you just make bank from that. Oh, jeez, that's not how I want. I wanted to get a screen. That's okay. He's living on the streets, man. Living on the streets belongs to the streets we should open up all those plants and start planting them i think uh i think that'll be a good way to try and make a little bit of uh reoccurring income here until we uh until we figure out life you know Aww. also change into your you guys haven't even seen his main outfit oh wait that's not it unless if i didn't save it maybe i didn't save his main outfit oh wait what is this outfit then Woo! i thought this was his everyday outfit a bitch. Uh. <laughs> yeah, he's he is gross. All right, uh, let's open up these plants here. We'll see what we get, and I don't even know how these. I forget how. I don't forget how plants work. I just don't know which ones are good for like year round and. Maybe they'll tell me. Fall and spring. Fall and spring. Spring. Winter. Summer, spring. Summer. What time is it? It's summer. There's no fall and summer, right? Well, we. I think. Did I extend this to two weeks? Maybe I did that. All right. So at least we have summer. So what we can do is plant summer. And I think we should also plant fall. So we have a bunch here. I don't know how close it can be. Is it one spot, two spots? In a minute. How many plants do we want? Do we want 25? Are these all fall? All right, so one, well, one, two. Which one's growing in the summer now? One, two. No, it stinks, dude. These are barely, we're barely going to get any fall. Dude, this is a lot of plants. I want to do 25. Spring. Winter. 
We'll survive through the winter at like a hotel or something. Hopefully by winter time we'll have enough money that like we don't need to worry about this. But for now, guys, that's the end of this episode. Thank you everyone so much for watching and supporting the brand new series. If you guys enjoy the series, please consider looking down below and hit that spicy subscribe button. Great way to support me. Great way to support the content. Uh, if you guys want to see more content, just look at the uploads or follow the playlist in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you all next episode. See you guys.